We spent a lot of time trying to figure out how AI can augment our intelligence. I took a week off from work to build this plugin to help me process my voice notes and organize my messy thinking. Now, I work full time as a time series research engineer, but I wanted to build these tools to help me process information quicker, not to replace my thinking. When I say augmented intelligence, what I really mean is exploring this way of using AI that keeps you in control, that helps you think, that helps you grow, that helps you process information faster. And so these plugins fall under this umbrella of what I call Open Augie or Open Augmented Intelligence. Now, I tried to solve two main problems I have with this plugin. I take a lot of voice notes, and that gives us these long, messy-looking transcripts like this, these big blocks of text. These are on the shorter side for this demo. But I have trouble processing them and extracting tasks or extracting atomic ideas from these. And so that's what this plugin is meant to do. And the second problem this plugin solves is it allows me to distill or organize all these notes that are either linked to an MOC or in like a data view query like this. And to set it up, so all you need to do is you have your OpenAI API key. Right now, we use model 4.1 by default. It's been really effective. And then you can just specify where you want the output of summaries and atomic notes to go, which I like because then it gives you a chance to sort of review anything this produces before merging to your vault. And again, it's not perfect, but it does save me a lot of time right now. This plugin has not yet been approved to join the Obsidian Community plugins, but it's, it's up there for PR. Uh, and then we can also parse out data view queries. So this has been a problem too, is when I have a bunch of linked notes, especially for like a weekly reflection, I'd like to use a data view query to get the last two weeks or last week of notes and then be able to talk with that set of notes. And so this plugin will allow you to pull in um, all the content from linked notes in a data view query. And so once that is set up, we can come here. Let's start with uh, a transcript here. Just select our Augie command. And you can see we are only sending about 500 tokens here. That's just an estimate from this voice note. And now it's been successfully parsed. We created two atomic notes. So now everything's in this open Augie folder here where we have this summary note with tasks that were extracted from the voice note, linking to the new notes we created. And if during the note, I told Augie to link to an existing note, it would try to insert that in here as well. But here we just get a summary and we link to the two atomic notes that were created. Yeah, plan features, this looks good. And so that's how we parse a transcript. And behind the scenes, really, this is just a, a specialized prompt that I've put there that looks for this special token as I'm talking. So I'll, I'll have a transcript and I'll say something like, Augie, this is a new note. Um, Augie, this is a, a new idea. And that kind of hints to help the LLM figure out how to parse things. It's not perfect, but it works pretty well. So now the Open Augie white paper is kind of the longer term vision I have for the augmented intelligence in general. Again, I work full time as a research engineer, so I do not have time to build this. But if you are interested or you find this vision for augmented intelligence compelling, please get in touch. I think this is a really interesting frontier. I see more people starting to talk about using AI, but maintaining their agency as someone who wants to think and grow. And I think this is a really cool step towards that kind of future where AI is supporting us and organizing and processing information quicker, but we're still in charge of doing the work. We're staying human and using it to amplify our abilities. Uh, and so in, in this example here, like I added this special context prompt here with the back ticks, and this will just be injected as part of the prompt that's processing this to help the LM figure out what to focus on or what the, the purpose is. Now we could probably extract this away to do more of like a, um, here's my prompt, here are my notes, kind of lang chain like pipeline. Uh, but for me, like this is, you know, this is where I work. This is what I wanted to do. I want it in Obsidian like this. So this context note will be added to the parsing. Uh, and then this is just the data view query here uh, where I list everything from this notes folder that I, I curated this notes folder. So it was stuff on Open Augie that made sense for this white paper. But you could also just link things like if I go here and links one of my transcripts, for example, to like linked notes and data view queries, these will work interchangeably when you run the second command, which is to distill the link notes. So you can see here, we're sending about 27,000 tokens uh, in this one prompt to distill it. And we're gonna get back a list of atomic notes as well as another summary note uh, with any potential tasks extracted from it. All right, and it's done. So you can see here, we created eight new atomic notes from all of that. They ended up here in this notes folder and we have the new summary that's been added here. The plugin adds distill to the distill command and summary to the uh, transcript command. And we can go, you know, either way, that's easily to change. But here's the summary of our white paper notes. 
here are all the source notes that were in there too. So this the summary note kind of comes like a bit of a parent note to what you distilled, which I, I kind of like, um, because now you sort of have this concept note of sorts to set, you know, to kind of capture your thinking on all this maybe fragmented notes you had. Uh, these are the tasks get pulled out. And then you can see over here, we have the different atomic notes that it created. Uh, these are them as well right here, if you wanted to link to it. Um, cool. So you can see this one's just about capture and augmented intelligence. Yes, the AI that listens. I do think AI chats too much. And so that's what this note is talking about. I really would like a voice capture interface where I have the option of just recording my thinking or occasionally tapping a button to then be prompted, uh, to then prompt an LLM with my data. But yeah, the goal of Open Augie or the long-term vision is this like open user-owned network where users contribute their data, but it's owned by them. It's private or protected from LLMs that scrape and it incentivizes users for their novel and original thinking by sharing awards with them. I don't know how to fully put this together, but this is like this long-term vision I can't kind of let go of. In the meantime, though, it's sort of just building these, these different tools to help us augment our thinking and build augmented intelligence rather than artificial intelligence that replaces us. But anyway, this is the plugin. Um, I'll post an update when it is available uh, for Obsidian users right now. Again, still just waiting for review from the Obsidian team. But thanks so much for watching. If you like this idea of augmented intelligence or you want to contribute to the plugin, it's all open source. Find me on Discord. Find me on GitHub. Thanks so much for watching. I'm happy to hear your feedback. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.